What's up everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to create a game list from your RetroPy game card. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the SD card out of the back of our Raspberry Pi and we're going to put it into a USB SD card reader. So we'll take that, we'll put it into our computer. Today I'm using a Raspberry Pi 400, but you can do the same thing on any desktop or laptop. Um, I'm going to open the files here, so we'll jump in here to the RetroPie here. And your game collection card might be a little bit different, maybe la laid out differently, but basically when we go in here, we want to find our ROMs file. So um, we go to the home file here, Pi file, RetroPie, and then we'll find our ROMs. Again, yours might be laid out a little bit differently. But basically what you want to do is find your ROMs folder. Open that up. Here you'll see a folder here for all the different consoles in this game card collection. So for today, we'll uh, let's jump into the N64 one. So we'll, what we want to do is we want to click on the left corner here. We're going to highlight everything over and then straight down. So we have everything in this folder highlighted. We're going to right click and we're going to hit copy paths. Now we can X out of this or we'll actually minimize it because we'll go back in here a little bit later. Um, you want to open up your word processing so you can go to I'm on the Raspberry Pi 400 so we have um, we have here the LibreOffice um, writer. You can do Microsoft Word. Um, I'm sure Notepad works. Pretty much anything is going to be laid out exactly the same way. So we'll go on here, we'll put, we'll make a um, title, so we'll call this Nintendo 64 Game List. Um, make it bold and a little bit bigger up here. Let's center it. Alright, make this a little bit smaller. Okay. So now we can go in and we're going to just paste what we had previously copied right in here. So it doesn't look like much right now. Um, oh, this got underlined for some reason. Let me just take that out real quick. Okay. So it doesn't look like much right now, and that's because we have our file paths attached to our titles. So we're going to go in here. We're going to highlight this right through the N64 slash. And again, if you're doing a different console, it's basically going to be the same setup, but it'll just have a different... Um, console name there so make sure it's right after this slash you don't want to go into your title so now we're going to hit control H this is our find and replace tool so we have here again our our file path is across the top and find for replace we're actually going to leave this blank because we just want to take this out so we'll hit replace all we can close and we can see that the file paths have now been removed now we had a media folder in this um, game collection, so we can just go ahead and backspace that out. Um, our layouts are going to be a little bit different from card to card, so you might have a couple other things in there. Um, the media is where, on this specific card that I'm taking out, that's where we have like our game previews and um, gameplay video description, stuff like that. Um, some of the um, artwork can be on there as well. So. Typically, everybody has those, but again, your your card may vary. So um, this is looking much better. Now we want to go and take out the back side of our title. So we're going to go from the period over and do the exact same thing. Control H, find and replace. Um, now you can either leave this blank like we did for the file path, or we can go in here and change. What I like to do is I like to just put the console. The reason for that is if we go in and let's see, Nintendo 64. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is if we go and we want to extract now, say we make a list of our N64 games, we make a list of our Nintendo, um, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, all that stuff. We make different lists and then later on we want to make a um, game list that includes everything on the entire card. If we don't have this here saying what each title is, then we're going to see games that um, 
for example, like Sonic. We'll have Sonic on like Genesis um, and Arcade, and we won't be able to tell the difference. So I always put in here, um, after each title, exactly what that title goes to. So in this case, all these are going to be N N64 games. So we'll go ahead and hit Replace, um, Close. Now for this specific game list, there's some different endings to these. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. It actually saves on this. Hit Replace All. We can close out. And I will just look through these. Now here's one that we missed, so that was a different ending. And there could be a couple different variations throughout these. So you just want to kind of glance over everything, make sure you're not missing anything. I think there's usually up to like three variations, at least for mine. So we'll just kind of scan through these real quick. Oh, there's another one here for Cruising World. Dot SRM. So we'll do the same thing. Find and replace. Nintendo 64. Replace all. Close. And you might have some little things like this that pop up. So this was just a text file that was thrown in there from the emulation station software. So definitely scan through these. Make sure you're not missing anything. Let's see. Looks like we've got everything here. Another text here. So we can take that line out. What else do we have? It's looking good. All right, so that's everything here. So now we can go up. What I like to do is actually just highlight all these. They're in alphabetical order, but just to double check, we're going to go to Tools, Sort. And again, this is pretty much the same thing in Microsoft Word or different word processing programs. Um, alphanumeric, OK. And that's just going to put everything in alphabetical order. I don't think anything actually moved on this one. I think it was already in alphabetical order, but just to be safe. So now we have that game list. We can go in here, File, Save As, um, N64 Game List, and we'll save that. So now I'll show you guys if you want to make a complete game list for your entire um, game collection card, we can X out of this. We will jump back into our files. So this was our N64 file. We already did that. So let's do um, let's do Super Nintendo here. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So this is good. You'll get a chance to see us do it twice. Uh, we'll highlight over to the right from the left, straight down. Make sure we got everything in there. We're going to right click. We're going to hit Copy Paths. And now we're all set with this. So we can X this out. We'll go right back into our word processing uh, program. And we're going to make sure that we do a separate um, document. So we'll do, if you had that open already, you just go to new. Um, so this was super Nintendo game list. Go through the same exact process again. Um, make this a little bit bigger. I just like to center it because I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive. All right, so now we can go and paste that in and we're gonna do the exact same thing again. We're gonna go to the front of these titles. I'm gonna take out that file path. So we'll highlight it. We'll hit Control H again for the find and replace. For this part, we're just taking it out, so we're going to leave it blank. So just click here, and now replace all. Okay. Close. So we have that out. It looks like the ending on these seems to be all the same, so we'll go ahead and highlight that. Again, Control-H. And for this, we're going to put, I always put a space, otherwise it's going to plant it right at the uh, backside of this title here. Space Super Super Nintendo. Okay. Replace all. And we will close that. And again, we're just going to 
scan through here real quick just to double check make sure this one looks a little bit easier than the N64 and again you just want to scan through here make sure that you're not missing anything uh, make sure there's not a text file thrown in there or a media file which I'm sure there's are typically at the top those let's see looks like everything's good oh, we got one different one here dot SRM I think we had that in the last one too so control H go into the replace Super Nintendo again replace all and we'll keep going up make sure everything looks good here it, see something over here nope okay all right now we'll just take out these folders here we had our media and a couple other ones there so we'll do the same thing we did before we will highlight everything from top to bottom just to make sure that it's in alphabetical order. And you can tidy these up if you wanted to take out the USA. Um, that's only there because it was a USA release. Some of these you'll see are European or it'll have like the abbreviation for the country. So tools, sort, alphanumerics already selected. Okay. Again, I don't think anything moved there. These were already in alphabetical order. So now we can save this file. So we'll go down to save as. And this one was Super Nintendo Game List. Okay, save. Now, if you wanted to do a master game list, um, you'll see why we added the console into the back end of these titles. So we'll X out of here, we'll open up a new file, um, start a new text document. So let's say we have now, we've saved all our different console folders and game lists, and we want, now we wanna make a full one of the entire card. So we'll do master game list. smaller okay so we have this here now we're going to go into file open and we're going to pull up those um, files so I have let's see we have the Nintendo 64 here you can open this up and now we're just going to take I think this is a different one than the one I just made but I had this saved already same thing though, so we'll highlight this, bring it all the way down, and we're gonna copy that. Now we'll jump back over to our master game list that we're creating, and we'll just paste that in. So now this one was... So now we don't have to change anything, everything's exactly how we want it, so we'll just hit enter, go to the next line. Now we can, let's say, we are gonna go get rid of the Nintendo 64 one we'll go to open and the other one we did was the Super Nintendo so let me find that Super Nintendo is right here double click on that and we are going to highlight all of these now Copy those, jump back over to our master game list we're creating. We will paste this in here. So I'm actually leaving these bold um, versus the N64 ones non-bold, just so you can see how these all come together here. So now we have up here, we have our N64 games and we have our Super Nintendo games. They're all combined here. So now you could go ahead and do this for every um, collection on your 
game list so you can put in your Sega, you know, your, let's see, Sega Genesis, your Dreamcast, your PlayStation, whatever you have on here, your arcade, your MAME, um, paste them all in here. They don't have to be in order or anything. Just make sure that they're, you know, not spread out. You know, you don't want to separate them by too many lines or anything. So I just do it on the next line. So now we'll just go and highlight everything again, both of these collections. We'll go up here. All right. So now we'll sort these out. So we'll go to tools again. Exact same process as what we did before. We're just combining the two. We'll hit sort. We'll go to alphanumeric. Make sure everything's in alphabetical order. Hit OK. Now it's actually going to update. And you can see the difference now because we had one bold and one um, just regular font. So we can see how everything just lines up perfectly by alphabetical order. You know, we have all the WWF games here. Alphabetical order, regardless of which um, system they were on. And then we can just, you know, just to take out and make everything uniform here. I just did that to show you how everything kind of blends together. Um, so that's how you do it. That's your, your main game list here. You've just combined two different um, console game lists into one master game list. And you can do that, for, again, for every, every um, folder that you have on your game list. So I, I've found this to be the easiest way to do it. Now we have a um, you know text document here. If we want to export it as a PDF, we just go down to export as under file, export as PDF. We can um, go ahead and export this. It's gonna take the same um, game list title. So we'll do master game list, save. So now we have it as a PDF, which is probably the best way to go if you're gonna be giving this to somebody else. Um, with a PDF, they're not gonna be able to go in there and start editing everything. If you just, you can obviously save it as the text document that we initially had here, but with the text document, you know, they're gonna be able to um, mess things up, you know, if they start fooling around with it or, um, you know, you can easily hit backspace and just totally mess it up the PDF is a little bit safer to do that with so um, that's it for today I just want to show you guys the easiest way to go in here and do these game lists um, you know for my 256 gigabyte card there were over 24,000 games on here so originally for a while I didn't have a game list because it would take you know a lifetime to go through 24,000 plus um, games so I discovered this um, there's some other methods and um, ways to do game lists. I didn't find many of them to be super user friendly. Um, this one's pretty, pretty easy to navigate once you get the hang of it. It's still a little time consuming, but much easier than manually going through and rewriting every, every game list uh, on your entire collection card. So um, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to uh, follow us on um, YouTube. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, check us out on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.